You see here an animated representation of the organ of hearing, a tiny snail-shaped organ in the inner ear, called cochlea. It channels the sound information to the spiral ganglion neurons. High frequencies at the base location and low frequencies at the apex. For people with sensory neural hearing loss, these neurons do not receive the sound information. But their hearings can be partially restored using a cochlear implant, the most successful neuroprosthetic device. With this, an electrode array is inserted inside the cochlea. This array has multiple electrode contacts to stimulate different regions of the cochlea depending on the frequency information of incoming sound. However, the electric current has a wide spread, which limits the number of perceptually different channels to about 10. This leads to poor understanding of speech in noisy environments and limited appreciation of music. The solution to this problem is to use optogenetics, which uses light for stimulation, as light can be better confined in space. This promises improved spectral selectivity and there have been several preclinical proof-of-concept studies to show the potential of such optogenetic stimulation. In our research, we developed a computational framework to explore this potential. We combined sound coding strategies and a 3D ray tracing model of the human cochlea to investigate how the light propagates inside the cochlea. We also created a neuron model responsive to both current and light alongside a similarity index to evaluate performance. Our results focus on the comparison of electrical and optogenetic stimulation. To look at the first results of the framework, please join me at the VCCA 2024.